The Archdiocese of Toronto and the National Catholic Broadcasting Council. Through the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board presents Sunday TV Mass. On the third Sunday of Advent, we light the candle of joy on our Advent wreath that we may join with St. Pope John Paul II and pray, Mary Most Holy, Woman of the Eucharist and Virgin of Advent, encourage us while we wait for the Lord, sharing our time and energies with those in need, and prepare us all to joyfully welcome Christ's coming and to celebrate worthily his sacramental presence in the mystery of the Eucharist. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to the celebration of the Sunday televised Mass on this third Sunday in Advent. I am Father Michael Coots. The televising of this Mass is made possible by a contribution from three donors. The first are Joseph and Fina Lobo from Ottawa, Ontario. In celebration of their 60th wedding anniversary on December the 29th, and in thanksgiving for blessings received. The second is an anonymous donor from Brampton, Ontario, for the living and deceased members of the Diorio, Fracassi, Alfred, and Listrige families, and for all who are sick and in need of God and seek God's mercy to ease their suffering. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The third is the Langevin de Roche family from Ontario in thanksgiving for blessings received and for the living and deceased members of their family. Our thanks go out to the donors for the gift of this Mass. As we celebrate this Eucharist, the prophet Isaiah tells us to rejoice and sing with song. And so we ask the Lord to forgive us and may our hearts rejoice with joy and peace. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity, enable us to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, Be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the mute sing for joy and the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. James. Be patient, brothers and sisters, until the coming of the Lord. The farmer waits for the precious crop from the earth, being patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You also must be patient. Strengthen your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is near. Brothers and sisters, do not grumble against one another, so that you may not be judged. See, the judge is standing at the doors. As an example of suffering and patience, brothers and sisters, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. When John the Baptist heard in prison about the deeds of Christ, he sent word by his disciples, who said to Jesus, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to await for another? Jesus answered them, Go and tell John what you see what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the good news brought to them. And blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. As they went away, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go into the wilderness to look for? Did you a reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes? Look, those who wear soft robes are in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written, See, I am sending a messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way for you, before you. Truly I tell you, among those born of women, no one has arisen greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Isaiah in his prophecy tells us to rejoice with song. And therefore, we wear on this third Sunday in Advent rose-color vestments rather than the usual purple. It's a sign that we can already taste the joy of Christmas. But this was the joy for the people in Babylon who were in captivity. Isaiah tells them to rejoice. The desert and wilderness are not metaphors of joy, but rather it showed the despair, the lack of hope of the people in Babylon, which could be expected. But Isaiah tells them, your salvation is near. They were full of despair. They thought that they would never get back to Jerusalem. They would never be able to rebuild their temple. And as Psalm 139 says, um, sorry, 137 says, uh, by the rivers of Babylon, we hung our, hap, our harps on willow trees. Why should we sing the songs of Zion? May our mouth, may my tongue wither, and may my arm 
grow weary if I should forget you, O Jerusalem. And yet, now Isaiah says, even the deserts will bloom with crocuses and flowers, and there will be signs that God is in charge because things that are impossible are going to take place. But besides all that, God is going to deliver you, so all you have to do is be patient. Deliverance will come, not immediately, but it will come definitely. In fact, they had to wait for 50 long years, but finally they were relieved from their exile. But together with that salvation came healing. And Jesus speaks, I'm a professor, sorry, the prophet Isaiah says, the deaf will hear, the dumb will speak, the lame will walk, and the poor will have the good news proclaimed to them. And at Christmas, we will hear those birds, hark the herald angels sing, with bringing with healing in his wings. So this idea of healing comes with, physical healing comes with the spiritual healing and the spiritual salvation, and even the physical salvation of the people in exile. James, in his letter, also speaks about patience, something that is very rare today. We want to go for fast food. If a file or an application does not download in 20 seconds, we abandon it. We get upset, and like this morning, for instance, coming on the 401 where we had traffic jam, actually, I had a lot of peace while we were bumper to bumper because I thought about James's message, be patient. And the person who is patient has within him or has within her a great sense of peace, a realization that many of the things we cannot change, we have the serenity to accept it. And we have others that we can change and we will do that. The same patience is what Jesus is asking for in the gospel today. John is in his prison. It's dark, it's gloomy, he is depressed, and he's wondering exactly whether this Jesus that he has come to proclaim is really the right one. You see, John was a person of law and order. You did the crime, you did the time. When he had no patience with the uh, scribes and the Pharisees, when they came to him, he said, you brood of vipers, do you think you're going to get salvation just because you are the children of Abraham? No way. So here he finds that Jesus, who should be doing the same thing, is just doing the opposite. He's sitting down with sinners. He's giving those who fall a second chance. He's actually eating at the table with them. And so he sends his disciples, are you the Messiah or are we to wait for another one? And Jesus, as usual, does not answer a question uh, with, an, with an answer. He answers it with another question. He says, what do you see? And he speaks about the same healing that Isaiah speaks. And he says, if this is true, then you judge, you come to the conclusion whether I truly am the Messiah and that is the same question you and I must ask as we go out and do all our Christmas preparation. Who is this Messiah that we are looking out for? Make sure he is the right one. God bless you all. Would you join me now as we make our act of faith? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we offer our community prayer 
for all those in the daily televised Mass intention book. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, do your honor. During this Advent season, we ask our Blessed Mother to intercede with her Son on behalf of those searching for hope, joy, and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, do your honor. In the season of Advent, Lord, enlighten us through your Son, the light of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, do your honor. Heavenly Father, help us to prepare to celebrate Christmas by contemplating Mary and Joseph, Mary, the woman full of grace, Joseph, the faithful and just man. They chose to be filled with hope, joy, and love, rather than to listen to the voices of doubt and human pride. With them, let us walk towards Bethlehem. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God. In the mystery of this wine and water, may we share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, be pleased to accept these gifts that we offer to you with humble and with contrite hearts. Pray, my sisters, my brothers, that this our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, good for the love of the Holy Church. May the sacrifice of our worship, O Lord, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in the sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nati nativity, so that we may find us, he may find us watchful in prayer, exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> you. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, bishops across Canada, all the clergy and this entire people of God. <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Jean de Brebeuf, Saint Isaac Jogues, and our Canadian martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of this peace and friendship. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us and all our dear ones unto life everlasting. Amen. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you, Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been celebrated. Go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. We gather.